Hey guys, this is Chad with Next Vision Instruments coming to you again with another setup, demo, and operator training video. This time we are doing the Zeiss HFA 3. This is the model 840. Um, when you purchase an HFA 3 from Next Vision, it will come with a table. The unit itself and accessories over here. There is the patient response button, uh, the power cord, the black cord is the cord from the unit to the table, and then the flash drive here which has the user's manual on it. Also the user's manual can be found on the machine itself, but we include the thumb drive as an extra for you. Now the first thing I'm going to do is plug the power cord into the table this end into the wall. Next I'm going to walk over and grab the patient response button. Has a little cup here. And then this end is like a phone jack. And it will just click into place there. Next, we'll grab this black cord here, come around to the back side of the unit. Under the table, you'll see these three or these four connectors. This is the male end that'll plug there. And then over here to the patient's left hand side will be this door. Pull these two tabs down and your power cord gets plugged into this port here. There are USB ports here, a LAN port for networking, and the USB port is where it'll come with a keyboard. You can plug the keyboard in as well. We'll tuck all these cords, put the door these two little tabs go here and push it closed. Right above this access port, there's another door here. This is the filter. Definitely make sure this is blown out with canned air at least once a month. Very important for the life and longevity of your machine. Once I have everything connected and plugged in, your table should have power up and down, which means if the unit is connected to the table, um, you should be able to push this button here to fire the unit up. Also on the front, you have a couple USB ports. You can also plug the keyboard into that. I have it run to the back door that we previously showed. On the Model 840, which is the one we're looking at here, has your standard trial lens holder. The next model up, the 860 version, will have a, a liquid lens, a trial lens that you can plug in here. We'll cover that in a later video. Once it boots up, you'll come to this screen and it'll ask you to add password it should be four zeros you can do this either touch screen or on your keyboard and this is what the home screen will look like now if you've used a Humphrey visual field in the past this should be very similar um, entering pulling up patients um, there's only one test patient in here and so we're going to go to add and just going to type a generic one in then date of birth we're just doing a generic one It will automatically calculate the age. 
their current glasses prescription goes here and it will tell you which trial lens to use. Then here you can select which test you'd like to do. 24 C to fast, 30 dash two. There's a bank of tests you can scroll up. Again, this is all touch screen or you can use your keyboard. 10 two is up here. We're gonna stick with the 24 two, perform tests on which eye. We're gonna go both, starting with the right eye. Then you can change test parameters here. Different color stimulus, fixation target, the GPA summary will be here, last three. You can select a full GPA. You can also enter pressures and visual acuities. We're gonna leave that blank for now. Select next. And again, it's gonna give you to confirm the glasses prescription and which trial lens to use. Now this gives me instructions. I place the green cross, indicates the lens center. A red X will indicate the pupil is not centered to the lens. So it'll assist you in aligning the eye. And it also gives you what to tell the patient. We'll select next. And it's ready to start the gaze initialization. You can also skip it but we're gonna have it initialize here in a second. When performing the test on the patient's right eye, you would patch the patient's left eye. And when you begin to test the left eye, you would obviously switch the patch to the right eye. So when lining the patient up to test the right eye, there's a blue side and a white side. The patient's chin goes in the blue side first, which is the left hand chin rest. We're testing the right eye, and then when we're testing the left eye, their chin goes on the white, the white side, which is the right side, to test the left eye. After we've just adjusted the height of the table, we'll use this directional pad here. If you think of this pad, we'll move the eye whichever way you select. So we want the eye to come down a little and to the left, and that cross turned into a star. We'll select Gaze Initialize, and it will tell you right here, we're about to begin the visual check. Look straight ahead at the steady yellow light. Press the button whenever you see a flash anywhere in the bowl. Blink normally. The exam will begin now. This is the progress bar here. How much time has been running? You can pause the test from this screen adjust the test speed and also shows you what points have been checked up to this point and you also get a live feed of the eye so if needed you can if a patient's moving around you can kind of readjust but you want to make sure that their chin is down forehead is all the way against that forehead pad at all times during the test for the most accurate results it will say right eye test complete we're going to select OK, and you can either skip the left eye, restart the right eye, or click Start Left Eye. And now we'll have the patient move to the other side. It's going to, again, tell me which trial lens that I need. Select Next. If you are using a trial lens, you put the correct lens into the holder you stay right where you're at go back forward and then pull this close to their eye you don't want it touching their eye but you want it very close to their eye you don't want a rim defect which means it's too far away but you want it as close as you can without actually touching their eyelashes or face and the same thing as the right eye when the patient is on the white colored side of the chin rest. We're gonna move their eye to align them with the green cross. It'll turn to a star to let you know that you've done that. 
and select gaze initialization. And begin. It'll say left eye test complete. We'll hit OK. And we can either restart here or go to review results. Now you can see here that on the left eye there was zero false positives, 10% on the right eye. Still be a good test. I wouldn't need to repeat. And I'll hit save and exit. Then I want to go to today. You can select all or today and we're going to pull up the test that we entered reports and from here we can print save to an external usb or export to dicom from this screen if i want to pull up a report from the past or that i just ran select the down arrow and then next and this is the report that would print out um, for the right eye told you what test here tells you all the details of your test and then you can from here also print export or save when we entered a new patient we hit add if you're pulling up an existing patient you would go into this search bar here search their last name or date of birth select that patient pull them up here if their glasses prescription changed you would change that and then click next and depending if you're running a 24 to 30-2 or a 10-2 obviously you will select that test here now from this home screen you can also access the user's manual by selecting the little question mark that was at the top and it will give you the entire user's manual here again we include it on a thumb drive as well for your computer but you can have it right here at your fingertips on the unit itself and when you're finished you hit close okay from this screen you I'm gonna select my patient it will pull up what test we ran last time that's the 24-2 you can scroll down to the type of threshold you'd like to do and the test pattern um, so those are your threshold tests here 10-2, 24-2, macula, nasal step, 30-2 I'm gonna select supra threshold here which are the specialty tests you can then select the test pattern and it has all of these options the superior 64 for ptosis or the estrogen test for usually for dmvs there go ou and we'll hit ok it's going to put in what the test that we selected and i will begin that test by hitting next and after clinic is finished We'll hit the X in the top right, have log off or shut down. We'll select shut down. And once it powers off and you don't hear the fans running anymore, cover it with a dust cover. Also very important. Uh, again, I'd like to stress the importance of blowing out the air filter that's on the opposite side of the side we're looking at here. Very important to get into a habit of doing that regularly. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment. Don't forget to share and give us a call if you need any assistance with any of this setup um, or need further assistance.